Now, for the first time in pageant history, Cape Town will play host to the Miss South Africa finale. South Africa is regarded as one of the leading pageant countries in the world, with many of its winners taking top spots in the Miss Universe and Miss World competitions. This week, the Miss SA finalists are visiting the mother city as part of a production tour. Tani Neft has got this report for us. It's not every day you have the country's top ten beauties in one city. Meet the 62nd Miss South Africa finalists. They're in the mother city as part of a 10-day tour before the big crowning on the 24th of October. This is the first time in history the event will be held on Cape Town soil. It's very, very good for Cape Town, very good for our economy. Looking at COVID-19, we want to put COVID behind our backs to roll up the red carpet for these beautiful ladies and to assist them with their event. I think Cape Town couldn't ask for anything better than that. The top three contestants will represent South Africa at three of the world's most prestigious pageants. It's always been Miss World, Miss Universe, and now we have Miss Supranational to add to our titles. So we have three girls who will be representing South Africa. The world has started to focus on what we have to say as South Africans. And through women, that's even a bigger thing, bringing women's issues to the forefront. But what will a title like this mean for the contestants? I'm having the Miss SA pageant this year for the very first time in Cape Town would just be, well, groundbreaking for me to win in my city. I'm a medical doctor. I was fighting on the front lines of COVID and I saw the amount of stress that healthcare workers were put under. I would love to be the voice for those people. And could it be that a little birdie's brought one contestant some luck? One of the finalists pointed out to me that a bird pooped on my dress. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> I hope so. So in just over a month, one of these beautiful finalists will officially be crowned the fairest of them all. And no better place than the fairest city. It'll be a highlight for all. <laughs> Tanya Neft, Cape Town.